I had a call from someone today and they had um, a large sheet of dates that they needed to have color coded by how old they were. Now, I am basing this um, on a couple of principles. One is that if you click, um, if you type equals today, opening bracket, closing bracket, you're going to get today's date. And now the other formula that I'm using is I'm using the end date and E date equals date. And then it's the starting day, which is always today. And then instead of having a one so that I'm having a negative one. So 30 days before today was this date. And then we did the same thing for 90 days before this date. So it's D2, which is today. And then um, minus, minus three, which is 90 days. And the same thing for 120 and the same thing for 150. Now, to color code this, you have to do some interesting things. So what I want to do is I want to select, first of all, the ones that are more than 150 days old are certainly um, my highest concern. So let's do that one first. So I'm going to select the entire range of dates. And I'm going to conditional formatting and I'm going to highlight cell rules. And I'm going to say is less than. And I'm going to select my 150 days. And that that works out just fine and you get the last two days on my list. Now, the, the rest of them are a little more tricky than this. The remaining values are not as easy to do. So I've selected these as once again, I've gone up conditional formatting, I've gone to highlight cell rules and I'm going in between. So I would like, um, first of all, I'm gonna make this um, yellow. I would like uh, the, the days that are between 120 and 150 to, uh, to be yellow. So I'm going to click in my first cell, delete what it has there, and I'm going to click, click my 5-7. Um, and then I'm going to click on my second cell, delete what it has there, and I'm going to click in the uh, 6-7. But it tends, it tries to put in its own date. And even when we delete that, it's not going to come out accurate. So we're going to go, okay. Now we're going to go back to the conditional formatting. We're going to manage rules. And the second one, what we're going to do, we have it highlighted. We're going to go edit rule. And now it has um, quotation marks around our G our G2 and we don't want the quotation marks so we delete the quotation marks and then we say okay and we say okay again and then it works fine okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go between this one and the 190 days and the 120 days and we're going to make it green so what I'm going to do is I still have it selected. I've gone conditional formatting. I go highlight cell rules. I go in between. And I'm going to select my first day. And that seems to work fine. I'm going to change my color to green so I don't forget. And I can try to delete this one and select my second day, but it's not going to work. And so we go OK. And then we go to conditional formatting. We go to manage rules. We go to my green rule and we go edit rule. And it worked that time, which is unusual. And so we say OK. OK, and then so now we want to do between um, the 90 days and the 30 days. And um, we've run out of colors here, so I'm going to make it blue. So we have these selected still. We go to conditional formatting. We go highlight cell rules in between. 
and then I go and I select um, my seven, 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 and then I go and I select this and press delete, and then I press this one. Now I would like to make this um, a blue color, so I'm going to custom format. I'm going to fill, and I make it blue, and I'm going to say okay. And I'm going to go OK. And just because I don't trust this thing, I will go Manage Rules, and I'll make sure I don't have quotation marks around my E2. So there you go. This is how you color format dates as for how they are, um, how, how old they are relative to today's date. Please subscribe.